planting this. We've got quite a few in our yard now. Yeah, and I, I was out, actually outside transplanting some things in the garden yesterday, and I'm still finding nymphs underground. So yeah, yeah they're not all out yet. There's still more to come. It's going to be loud. It is. <laughs> yeah, it sure is. Uh, but uh, we have some nice weather today. Yesterday, kind of the rain slowed down any yard work you might have been doing. But today, we really don't have to worry about any showers impacting that. We are starting off with some fog, though. That's going to be around through mid-morning with improvement as we head beyond 8, 9 o'clock, getting back to some sunshine. And temperatures will push into the 60s again. Uh, we are looking at temperatures hitting highs in the uh, 70s to right around 80 degrees. So it's going to be just like yesterday. Feeling a little bit better, though, with the sun out more throughout the day. Salina, Wapakoneta, and Bell Fountain all near 79. 80 for Sydney, Urbana, Troy, and Springfield. And in the southern half of the Miami Valley, 80 in Xenia, Dayton, Springboro, 81 in Eaton, and Oxford at 82 today. Our dew points are also going to be a little bit lower, so it's not going to be as sticky as it felt yesterday. Those dew points are going to be in the mid and upper 50s. Anytime they're above 60, it does feel more humid. But again, today coming down from those 60 degree values. We have a front that came through that is now south of us. And so the rain that worked through overnight working south and dissipating. Uh, so we have cleared out and that has allowed for some fog to form. There are some clouds to the west. We expect clouds to roll through at times today. So a partly sunny afternoon, but a dry one. It's not until tonight that this wave of low pressure will be traveling along the boundary and working some showers and even the potential for thunder back into the Miami Valley. That will also stick around on Friday. Now behind that system, it's really going to cool off. Today will be close to 80 and then we have temperatures falling. Friday's high is just 68. Saturday's high, just 60. That is going to feel maybe even a little chilly. As we check future track, we've got morning fog out in the area and then some Partly to mostly cloudy sky as we go through our afternoon hours. We're still dry though for the drive home at 5 o'clock. Overnight, we'll see some showers develop and those will be around on Friday. We've got numerous showers, the chance of a rumble or two of thunder, and we're going to stick with that through lunchtime and catch a few breaks in the afternoon, but more roll in as we go into the evening and overnight hours. It's just an unsettled finish to the week and a few showers may even linger into the first half of Saturday. Today we're partly to mostly sunny, pleasantly warm. We're up near 80 degrees. Looks really nice after the fog mixes out. Increasing clouds tonight. Showers develop. We'll drop down to 62. And tomorrow, an unsettled day. Breezy, cooler, a high of just 68. Showers with the chance for some rumbles of thunder. In your Storm Team 2 seven-day forecast, we'll still have a few showers possible Saturday. That'll be the coolest day with a high of 60. Not great news if you wanted to head out to the pools as they open Saturday. Uh, better weather Sunday and especially into Memorial Day. We should be back up to 76. We expect dry weather those two days. And then Tuesday and Wednesday even warmer as we get into the upper 70s.